broken because you don't trust anyone. You just have to take the first step. Raya and the Last Dragon is the new Disney animation movie. It's not Disney Pixar, it's Disney Animation, so the creators of Zootopia, Moana, Frozen, they made this movie. In a realm known as Kamandra, a reimagined Earth inhabited by an ancient civilization, a warrior named Raya is determined to find the last dragon. I love when Disney has new animated films come out that isn't just Pixar. For the most part, they do a great job. I actually wanted to see this in theaters, but I didn't have enough time, so I watched it at my apartment. And I honestly wish I saw this in theaters, because this is a gorgeous looking movie. That's the first compliment I need to say about this film. This film looks incredible. For Disney animations that isn't Disney Pixar, this is the best looking film they've ever made. This movie is gorgeous gorgeous it's so colorful the landscapes and like the water and everything like that just looks so real i mean it blows my mind what these animators can do nowadays i mean it's such a talent that doesn't get enough credit this movie looked beautiful i also love the world and the lore in this film it's interesting and there's a lot of it there's a lot of history anytime you can give me a good original story with all this backstory and lore and interesting facts and just gimmicks in this world I'm immediately invested. And the story and the plot is pretty much straightforward. And in a movie like this, especially a Disney movie, you need your plot to do that. And they nailed it. It's basically they have to go get these things to save everyone. It's not complicated. It's very simple. You understand their goal. You understand why they're doing it. And sometimes movies have problems with figuring out a plot like that. I really don't understand why, but Ryan the Last Dragon figured it out. Kelly Marie Tran plays Ryan. She does a great job. You can tell she's having a lot of fun with this role. There's a lot of energy in her voice performance. And I'm just really happy she's getting more work in these big movies because she got shitted on for The Last Jedi. Like, I didn't think her performance was bad in The Last Jedi. Her character just sucked. Like, Rose just sucked as a character. But all these crazy fucking Star Wars fans, for some reason, wanted to, like, cancel her and ruin her career. It's like, it's not her fault. She didn't write the damn movie. So I'm happy she's getting these big roles still. Aquafina plays a dragon, and she was a lot of fun. She brought a lot of comedy to this movie, and those two playing off each other was great. They had great chemistry. I thought she did a great job, too. For the most part, this film is well-paced. Right off the bat, right when this movie starts, it's just a fast ride, and there's really not much downtime. And I was never really bored in this movie. I was always invested. I was always interested to learn about new things in this world, these characters, all of that. I do have a few issues with this film. I know I just talked about the pacing, how it's well done because you're never really bored in this film. But my issue with the pacing in this movie is everything happens way too quickly. This movie needs to be a little bit longer. I wish they could expand a little bit more on the world, the lore, some of the character development, some of the characters' relationships, all of that. They go on these missions that happen so quickly. I wish they're dragged out a little bit longer to get more of that character development, learn a little bit more about that world and all that. There's also a lot of exposition in this film. They have to explain a lot of things and voiceovers and just pictures and things like that where I think if the movie was a little bit longer, they could probably just show it to us without just explaining it to us. I really enjoyed Aquafina's performance as the dragon. I thought she was a lot of fun, but I couldn't help myself to compare her character to Mushu from Mulan, Eddie Murphy's character. And there's gonna be a lot of reviews that have that same comparison. All my friends that I just watched it with made that comparison as well. I couldn't stop thinking about that. It was kind of distracting for me. I still think she was a lot of fun and the character was a lot of fun, but it's hard not to make those comparisons. And my last issue is the message in this film. It's a good message. It's a fine message and I think it's an important message. But the problem is this film felt like it had to beat it over your head what the message is. They had to explain it. They literally had to spell it out to you like we wouldn't understand or maybe kids wouldn't understand it. Like we're too dumb to understand what the message is. So we're literally just going to say it out loud like a million times. That got very distracting. And sometimes there was some pretty laughable dialogue when they're spelling out their message. We're not dumb. Kids aren't dumb. They're going to understand what the message is. You don't have to spell it out like that. In the end though, Ryan the Last Dragon I thought was a lot of fun. The movie looks gorgeous. This is definitely the best looking Disney animation film that isn't Pixar. There's a lot of great action sequences. The world and the lore is extremely interesting. All the voice performances were great. My only issues with this film is I felt like it should have been longer. Things should have been dragged out a little bit longer so we got more character development, 
more character relationships and learn a little bit more about the world and the lore and all that. Sometimes it's hard to not compare this movie to Mulan and I feel like they didn't have to beat the message over our heads. They didn't have to spell it out the way they did. They need to be a little bit more subtle about it. I'll give Ryan the Last Dragon 7.5 Davy Daves. If you're a fan of the Disney animation films, definitely check it out. It was a lot of fun. I don't think it was as good as Moana or Zootopia or maybe even Tangled. I do think it's better than Frozen. Maybe that's a hot take, but better than Frozen 1 and 2. But I definitely recommend it. If you don't want to pay 30 bucks, go see in theaters. Actually, just go see in theaters. Go support theaters. I recommend it. So, Ryan the Last Dragon. Let me know what you guys thought of it if you've seen it. I'm curious to hear. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Click here to see more Dave's takes.